Shoe Shades New Man. Beautiful day. Hashtag Team All Blade and hashtag No Blade Left Behind. Come on in, throw me a soupy smile, and all I gotta say is squad goals. Thank you for being here, for clicking in today's video, and for joining me. Hopefully, wherever you're watching from today, you're drinking something delicious, you're sitting in a comfy chair, and you're ready for a shave. You know I am too. We got just 48 hours of stubble, and we're gonna be knocking it out with some brand new gear that I'm really excited to talk about. We've got it in hand, we've got a lot of shields, new offerings, and we're gonna be talking about them. And I'm absolutely thrilled to be using the DE Head Razor. Today, it's the point. 0.05 millimeter gap variation of his razor in his Cody in the in the Cherokee variation. Take a look. It's this matte beautiful satin black. It just like it, to me it's like the Batman S type razor. I really like this new variation that he's offering. Like I said, it is a, a coated razor. It's taking his titanium GR5 titanium and coating it in um Cherokee to kind of produce more slickness, produce more protection for the razor's finish and to um, generate something that's going to last long term. I want to call this out. Mine had a little small ding in shipping. It did not originally have that, but because of all how like I got so look I got quite a bit in the package. It, it looks like the mail office kind of ended up scratching the surface a little bit, but that is not a fault of Mike's. And I did want to call that out that it's most likely it's, it's an issue with the, the packaging and the UPS back and forth shipping deliveries. Other than that one little mark, it is an absolutely gorgeous razor. I absolutely love the finish. It screams premium while being at a $114 price point, right? So it's GR5 titanium that's been coated. That's, that really looks like quite nice for under $120. Bucks. Really like this again. Massive shout out to Mike over at Shield Razors. Today we're going to be talking about not only this razor, but the other ones that he sent us and some of the things that he's doing. And I'm kind of kind of go through um, his offerings. We're going to discuss the price points, some of the things he's um, doing, and some of the intuitive, like you know, uh, the tenacity, the, some of the things he's chasing um, over on his side of uh, on AliExpress's um, store. Absolutely thrilled to be having you today for it. The soap today is one of the ones that I cannot put down. It's just going to be releasing here shortly. We've got Neon Moon on deck. This is from. HCNC and Wet Shaving Store collaboratively, right? Andy and Pete are doing this together. This to me smells like Snuggle the Bear slapped you across the face and said, give me a hug. I It smells so much like clean clothing that I can't even tell you. And like I heard somebody say, you know, it smells like soap. It smells more than like just like soap though. It smells like a little bit of musk along with the um, like the ozone notes that are added to this. Make it smell like one of those commercials where you're following around somebody that smells clean, right? When they're pulling out the brand new dryer sheets, right? That's what this smells like. I really like this. It smells like fresh laundry. It smells like fresh sheets. It smells like that when you pull up the blanket to your face after doing the sheets and it smells like clean and fresh. I absolutely love this. Like I said, it smells like Snuggy himself is sitting next to you while you are doing your shave. Snuggle himself. I really like this again. Huge shout out over to Pete and um, uh, Andy for allowing us to talk about this. Releasing Friday. I really like it. Make sure to grab it. It's going to go fast. I guarantee it. The lather today is on point. It always is when I'm using their stuff, but take a look. Drippy, creamy goodness. Ow! I like it a lot. I really like this stuff. You can see we've already got on the dome today and we've already done the face shave with it. But look at how well this paints on. I know some people would say, oh, that's maybe a little too hydrated. Take a look at how well this releases from the brush. It's crazy. Creamy, it's rich, it's super protective, it's slick. I love this stuff from Pete and from um, Andy over the wet shaving store. Really, really great base that produces a lot of protection and you get a lot for your money's value. I really like that stuff and I like that it just is a fresh scent, right? We don't see a lot of those in the, like, in the community. Honestly, we see stuff that's very heavy and I like this. It's just lighter, it's fresher, it's clean and it's something that I, I could see myself using on the regular. Let's talk about the options that Shield just sent us. Oh, I, I'm gonna have some photos in the um, video kind of like showcasing it, but I didn't want to take away from the razor itself, if that makes sense, by like just doing it um, all, like all together. I don't want to do 10 razors. I'm going to do these separately individually, but I also wanted to do a video just kind of talking about what was sent to a channel. Again, we did not pay for this. Mike sent this his our way on his dollar out of his kindness and out of generosity, of just, you know, wanting us to be included in what he's doing. I've loved what seeing he's done, uh, like seeing the process that he's done. He's really improved um, his offerings as like a, as a manufacturer and as an engineer and as kind of a, a, a forward-thinking um, razor manufacturer, right? He's always kind of challenged what's been done and really attempted to produce a lot of offerings. And I know that's sometimes his downfall, right? Sometimes he's reaching too far. He's trying to do too many things all at once and 
it gets kind of ahead of him, but I think he's in a good kind of rhythm right now, and I like seeing what he's producing. He sent us this. I love the green on this. I want to show this next to the black. I want to show that the, this finish, um, the way it was packaged uh, in, the, in the actual package, was actually better protected. So you can see there's no problems at all. That's what the finish will look like when you order it, right? Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. It's really, really green. It screams neon green. It, I, the green itself is almost like iridescent green. Like it's like glowing green. It, the craziest part is I tried to show this in the video and then the photos, but I'm not boosting saturation or anything. It is that green. Look at this thing. Take it like next to the black. It is super bright green and he offers a ton of colors. And I, th I almost wonder sometimes when you're looking at photos online, you're like, is that really going to be like that when I get it in person? It really is going to be like that. Awesome some color on the green. Again, this is the GR5 Titanium Razors in his um, uh, cherry coat coating. Wanted to show that really quickly. And then what he has done is he's kind of um, delved into and chasing some of the other materials. So this is his gem head. And I want to show this. This is in stainless steel. This is hefty. It reminds me of like the, I don't want to say it, but the, you know, the saber, <laughs> I'm going to say it, the saber, it kind of reminds me of that weight, but it has his angle and his technology and the way the, the blade is secured and held in place. I really like seeing him go after stainless. And I talked to Mike and he said, he's going to start challenging stainless and doing it in the coating in like a Cody uh, offering, which would be really cool. I'd love to see that. I'd love to see what that does as far as slickness and um, kind of like being able to aid the glide of your razor. And then he's offering this. And the, I want to mention the stainless is $55, $56, which is a still, you get literally, literally, no pun intended there. It's a still 55 bucks and you get stainless steel full razor. That is freaking awesome considering the competitor's offerings, right? 55 bucks. Then you got this coming in at 30. This is his new aluminum offering. This is, that's right. He's doing aluminum as well. So you've got titanium, you've got aluminum, you've got stainless. And I did hear whisperings of brass coming. The guy is crazy. He's going after it all. He's chasing it all. Take a look at the finisher. This is his ACSE. This is it does both. You've got an injector razor side and it has an AC artist club razor side. So you can do one or both if you if your heart desires, right? I really like this concept. This is something he and I were talking about. He's like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to create one that does both. I like this a lot. You can see, even look at the lather holes here. You've got lather holes that are smaller and then wider, depending on which side of the razor you're using. I like this a lot. 30 bucks, 30 bucks for the aluminum one. And it has a nice coating on there. It's definitely light, but I mean, come on, $30 to give yourself a, um, a razor that is in pretty good material. It's going to last like a very, very long time in aluminum, right? For 30 bucks with a good finish and nice tolerances. Way to go, Mike. Way to do it. Way to kill it. You're helping us all, all this um, head shavers out there that want to try out like new razors, try out new gear, have great head shaves, get close head shaves, but don't want to break the bank, right? Thank you so much from us to you. Ah, it's going to be really awesome. Let's start the shave today again. We're using the black. I just want to say it right now. It reminds me of the dark night. I, I love the finish. It reminds me of like, you know, somebody's getting out of the car, getting out of it, just ready to beat up bad guys. I like this a lot coming from the bat cave itself. Ah, that's going to be awesome. We're starting it off today, like I said, with just under 48 hours of stubble. I guess at this point, we're just sitting right at 48 hours of stubble. And it is definitely more dense stubble, considering um, kind of like, I don't know, just considering the shave that I had last time, it definitely is more built up. It feels like that way, at least. It feels a little bit more... Um, just kind of all over the place. I was gonna just, I just cannot believe that this razor in such a low blade gap, right? It's the 0.95 blade gap, 0.05 exposure, shaves as close as it does. I think there's a huge misnomer in our community um, that discusses, you know, how efficient a razor is by, you know, mega gap and mega exposure. I was having this conversation with a friend like a couple days ago about how close a razor really shaves. And it's most of the time, it's just the angle, being able to maintain the angle, like the 0.55 Goodfellas shave. I get a really close shave with that razor and it doesn't have a ton of gap, doesn't have a ton of exposure. This is kind of similar to that. It has a 0.95 um, blade gap and 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.05 um, exposure, but it shaves like some of those heavy hitting, like even like the Sterling Hyper, right? It shaves as close, in my opinion. Uh, and I don't have to worry about the um, blade biting me. It doesn't feel super aggressive. This, I like this a lot. It's very smooth, very comfortable, very easy to use. And the actual coating on it, the Cherry Coat, feels 
so different. I want to call this out. It absolutely feels different than his satin offering. His satin offering is definitely, I'm going to get a wipe off here. <laughs> his satin offering, it feels like a little bit more I don't want to say tuggy, but it definitely feels like you get like less slick. This thing right here feels slick. It almost to me feels like it's wet. To be really honest, it feels like it's wet. It's an interesting experience to have it on the skin. And then what happens is when the razor actually gets wet, it gets even more slick. I want to call this out because of the nature of the Cherokee. The handle, right, is Cherokee-coated. And the handle itself, without a little bit of this, gets really, really slippery. At least it does for me because of that, the, the, like the hydrophobic nature of it. It just wants to repel. And as such, right, it, because it's like pushing the whole entire time, I am almost having to kind of swipe my hand every single time I soap on it against the alum stick to keep the um, actual razor in my hand and from flying out of my hand, right? To keep it here. It's not the knurling isn't really, really good. It's the actual surface is very slick, which is great for the actual head of the razor. You can see it, is, it aids to the um, actual glide of the razor. It really does. I was super curious. I've used anodized surfaces. I've used polished surfaces. I've used, um, you know, the textured surfaces. I, I, I This is not like a... Um, the, I've, I've often heard like the truck liner coating. This is nothing like that. Some people will say I've truck, I, I've cherry coated it and it's like truck linered. This is not like truck liner. This is like the actual, like baked on. This is the good quality cherry coat and you can feel it. It just, it, it's very, it, very slick, very smooth. And that's, I think it's, it's absolutely a, like, it's um, quintessential, it's necessary, it's absolutely required on a safety razor for it to be perfectly smooth, at least in my opinion. I've actually used razors that have a textured feel to them, and I don't like those against the skin. I've heard people say, you know, if it has a little texture on it, and again, this is highly debated, but if it has a little texture, it pulls more on your skin, giving you a closer shave. I don't find that, and I don't like the way those shave typically, whereas I really, really like the way that this is shaving. It is very, very smooth, very forgiving because of the um, amount of blade gap, blade gap and exposure but the slickness from the gun, the, the cherry coat, I keep calling it gun coating, <laughs> but the, the cherry coat itself is actually quite, it's quite good. It's very interesting. I'd like to see this done maybe a little bit more commonly um, after experiencing it because of how smooth it is. I think Mike's onto something with this. I really do. I was very, very skeptical to be perfectly honest. And I, I, I told Mike that. I said, you know, is it really all that different than doing an anodized or doing a polish or even some of the other um, you know, beaded technology, um, just doing the glass beading on there. I, I really, I, I was very curious and skeptical, to be honest, if it would make that big of a difference. Huge, definitely massively different. Massively different. I like that a lot. And I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I do. Gives me a very smooth, very elegant, very easy shave that produces a lot of slickness on the actual surface of the razor. You see that water, the way it's running and the way it kind of pillows and the way it like it's sliding off the razor. That's not something you typically see on coated surfaces. And usually you I mean, if you go back through my channel's history, right? The first time you're here, if you're watching this and you're like, Hmm, maybe he likes coated surfaces. I really don't. And I'm going to be perfectly honest, totally transparent. Last couple of razors Mike sent me, right, that were coated, that were actually textured, I, I actually um, buffed them off. I polished those razors. I've always said I, I prefer um, a titanium razor that has a very slick surface on the actual cap. Right. And I, I will actually polish my titanium that come in satin. I mean, my ghost from Yachi, I did the same thing. I went through and I polished it because I like the way that feels. I like a slick surface on the head cap. This runs and it pushes water off it like it's polished. That is awesome. I re that is really cool. The shave is very close. It is very comfortable. It's very easy. I love the DE razor he offers. It's um, like I said, it's a lower blade gap and a slightly positive exposure. I feel like it's really geared towards the masses, right? It's going to work for the majority of people. It's not going to be so um, under like, you know what I mean? Blade fill wise that people are going to not like it but it's going to be uh, um, sensitive enough and gentle enough for people that are just trying it out for the first time. I think it's a nice segue into the um, segment, into the wet shaving, if not like a nice split, um, place to end as well. I mean, honestly, it's a, you can do both, right? It's good for experts. It's good for beginners. I love that blade gap and blade exposure. I think it fits really well, and I think it works really well on this razor. Oh my goodness, look at this thing! 
Love it. Absolutely loved the shave. Today it was so close. It was really comfortable. Again, when you compare that side by side to the uh, the um, other technology, the, the bead blasted technology, the sand blast, I like that other coated surface. Personally, I can see what he's onto. And on top of that, he can do some really crazy, look at this. It looks like I'm about to do one of those like special like TikTok scenes, right? <laughs> it's going to go into the green screen mode. Look at this thing. I love all the stuff he sent. And we're going to be doing some um, razor showcases and more spotlights. I am really excited to be talking more about what Shield is doing, what Mike's you know challenging and putting out, because I think he's doing it at a price point that is not only accommodating for the majority of people, but I think it's actually um, like good quality. I think people out there, even if you have a big collection of razors, I think the offering things like this are it's interesting, it's unique, it's fun, it adds adds a little flair and zazz to your day. And I, if, if wet shaving is nothing else than that, like adding a little zazz, a little flair, and a little fun, it's never a bad thing. At least in my opinion, really cool stuff. Off. Massive thanks again to, um, to Mike over at Shield, and he is offering this in several different um, options, right? You get the handle paired with the head, however you want to do it, mix and match, which I also really like. Too many times we're kind of set uh, by a company, but to what you can have, right? It's like, this is the set, whereas Mike lets you mix and match, which I really, really, really enjoy. That smells so nice. As soon as I crack the, the cap, it's like, hmm, laundry day. I love that. Smells fresh, smells clean. It makes me want to be one of those commercials where I'm following around somebody going to the laundry mat, right? Asking them what their sheets are. This is really nice. It smells just absolutely um, inviting and it is a perfect way to end the Shield Shave. Again, this is gonna be available coming out on Friday. I'm thrilled to see Wet Shaving Store continue to doing these offerings with HCNC and kind of offering some limited time stuff just to get interest in it and to produce a little bit of flair for and, and make something that's interesting. I really like that. Again, thank you for being here for it. I had a ton of fun with you guys. It was an awesome shave. It was close, it was comfortable. You can see there's no nicks, no dings, no irritation. And I do think that gun Cody, the cherry coat surface makes a difference in slickness and actual like being able to get across the skin and, and um, performance wise I really really like those again 114 bucks not not terrible for GR5 titanium that comes in the fun colors thanks again for being here if you haven't please go below smash that sub button I'd love to talk to you in comments until I see y'all there soups out <laughs>